Good evening and welcome to our liturgy of Vespers on this Wednesday of the second week of Easter. The Alleluia's still ring around us, the joyful resurrection of the Lord, which has given us that hope of heaven, the hope beyond this life, everlasting life. We come at the end of the day to look back over the day to say thank you for all the blessings that we've received, to ask for forgiveness for the things that we've done wrong or the good things we failed to do. And we come to praise the Lord for his own goodness. This evening there will not be the um, usual um, a- Angelus because uh, we will use the, uh, the, the, the evening hymn to Our Lady for Easter instead at the end of the uh, liturgy. So we'll begin with uh, Vespers and then we'll, during Vespers, we'll have your intercessions that you've sent in for us to pray on your behalf and light a candle for you. We will then have one decade of the rosary and we will then conclude with the evening anthem. So we start off And I'm using Universalis this evening for those who uh, have that on their list. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. I'm singing the hymn, O Christ, the heaven's eternal King. O Christ, the heaven's eternal King, creator unto thee we sing. With God the Father ever one, co-equal, co-eternal Son. Thy hand, when first the world began, made in thine own pure image man, and linked to fleshly form of earth, a living soul of heavenly birth. And when the envious crafty foe had marred thy noblest work below, thou didst our ruined state repair by deigning flesh thyself to wear. Once of a virgin born to save, and now newborn from death's dark grave, O Christ, thou bidst us rise with thee from death to immortality. Eternal shepherd, thou art wont to cleanse thy sheep within the font, that mystic bath, that grave of sin, where ransomed souls new life begin. Divine Redeemer, thou didst deign to bear for us the cross of pain and freely pay the precious price of all thy blood in sacrifice. Jesus, do thou to every heart unceasing paschal joy impart From death of sin and guilty strife, set free the newborn sons of life. All praise be thine, O risen Lord, from death to endless life restored. All praise to God the Father be, and Holy Ghost eternally. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Only have faith in me. Alleluia. In God alone is my soul at rest. My help comes from him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress, I stand firm. How long will you all attack one man to break him down? 
as though he were a tottering wall or a tumbling fence. Their plan is only to destroy. They take pleasure in lies. With their mouth they utter blessing, but in their heart they curse. In God alone be at rest, my soul, for my hope comes from him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress, I stand firm. In God is my safety and glory, the rock of my strength. Take refuge in God, all you people, trust him at all times. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. Common folk are only a breath, great men an illusion. Placed in the scales, they rise, they weigh less than a breath. Do not put your trust in oppression, nor vain hopes on plunder. Do not set your heart on riches, even when they increase. For God has said only one thing, only two do I know, that to God alone belongs power, and to you, Lord, love, and that you repay each man according to his deeds. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Only have faith in me. Alleluia. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let them rejoice in your saving help. Alleluia. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples, you guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God our God has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing till the ends of the earth revere him. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let them rejoice in your saving help. Alleluia. His majesty covers the heavens. The earth is filled with his praise. Alleluia. Let us give thanks to the Father who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. He has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. His majesty covers the heavens, the earth is filled with his praise. Alleluia. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. 
Jesus, because he remains forever, can never lose his priesthood. It follows then that his power to save is utterly certain, since he is living forever to intercede for all who come to God through him. To suit us, the ideal high priest would have to be holy, innocent and uncontaminated, beyond the influence of sinners and raised up above the heavens. One who would not need to offer sacrifices every day, as the other high priests do for their own sins, and then for those of the people. Because Jesus Christ our Lord has done this once and for all by offering himself. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia, we repeat. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. They saw the Lord, Alleluia, Alleluia. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. The man who lives by the truth comes into the light so that it may be plainly seen that what he does is done in God. Alleluia. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The man who lives by the truth comes into the light, so that it may be seen plainly that what he does is done in God. Alleluia. In Christ, who was raised from the dead, the Father has opened for us the way to eternal life. Let us pray to him. Save your people through the victory of Christ. God, our fathers, in the, res in the resurrection of your glorified Son, grant us true repentance that we may walk in newness of life. Save your people through the victory of Christ. You have brought us to Christ, the shepherd and guardian of our souls. Keep us faithful to him under the guidance of our pastors. Save your people through the victory of Christ. From the Jewish people, you chose Christ's first disciples. Show the children of Israel that your promises are fulfilled. Save your people through the victory of Christ. Remember the orphans, the widows and the homeless of our world. Your son has reconciled people with God. Do not abandon them now. Save your people through the victory of Christ. You called Stephen to yourself as he bore witness to Jesus. 
Welcome the faithful departed who have loved and desired you. Save your people through the victory of Christ. I now offer the prayers that you have asked us to offer. Helen asks for prayers for baby Annie Barlow and her family, as the outlook presently is very bleak. Carmela from the United States asks for a healing prayer for Grace, Lauren, and Mark Ventura. Also for Adrian Cruz and Jean-Camille Gabat. And a prayer request from Kathy for the well-being of Anne Ema. And Steve asks us to pray for Debbie Hutchins who is suffering from cancer of the esophagus. Tony asks us to pray for the repose of the soul of 22-year-old Jake Moore, who died of cancer on the 14th of December last. And we pray for the faith of the families of Moore, of the Moor and Rockagettis. Prayer request from Neville. Please offer prayers for the repose of the soul of Doreen Vincent, my elder sister, who died early this morning in Derriford Hospital, Plymouth. Please pray for her family, for whom she was a treasured aunt and great aunt, and also for my brother John, who is quite poorly with myeloma. We pray for the souls of all the faithful departed, asking God to grant them his everlasting mercy and eternal peace. We ask this in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who now lives and reigns with you, the Father, and the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. Let us sum up our prayers with that great prayer that our Saviour himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Year by year, Lord, we recall the mystery of Easter, the mystery which restored mankind to its lost dignity and brought the hope of resurrection. Grant that we may possess eternally in love what we now worship in faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now pray one decade of the Rosary from the glorious mysteries and have chosen the resurrection. Let us contemplate that single most important act of our Lord and God by rising from the dead and breaking that the grip that death has over us. We know our mortal bodies will die, but now Jesus is resurrected and ascended. He has opened up the way for us through that mortal death to eternal life. Let us give thanks to him for that. 
and ask our Blessed Lady to pass on our thankfulness. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of your mercy. Regina Celi, letare, alleluia. Qui aque maristi portare, alleluia. Resurrexit, sicut dixit, alleluia. Ora pro nobis Deum, alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia, for the Lord has truly risen, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant, we beseech thee, that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. 